Hello everybody. In this video, what I would like to do is discuss with you about the interference map that is either in our pre-deployment surveys or our site surveys. To get started, what I'd like to do is also show you that um, one of our technicians in the field had sent me this survey that they did, and I'm going to show you how to uh, import that from their survey right into the copy of Wolf that I have. And even though we're doing a video uh, explaining in detail how the export import works, we'll go ahead and show you that so that you can see that I brought this pre deployment in. Now we analyze not only the uh, full survey, but also in particular the interference map for this video. So by starting out, I'm in the pre deployment side of the, the app, and I'm going to select the import. I'm going to download import. In this particular case, uh, our technician put it in our shared Dropbox. So I'm going to go out to the cloud and he labeled it interference. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. As soon as that comes down, the very next thing it'll do as soon as it comes down from Dropbox, it'll go ahead and start importing directly into the survey. So once the import is completed, you'll notice it shows up in my list of pre-deployment surveys. I'll take that and then go ahead and manage that. And the, as soon as the survey comes up, it is actually lit exactly the way the technician left it whenever he was finished with the survey. In this particular case, it was all the interference maps and all the other uh, channel information was lit up. So what I would like to do is I'm going to go into my filters and if you'll notice we now have at the bottom a new subfilter called interference. And since the technician was looking at it at the time that he saved and exported, it, it's already checked to be looked at. And the other thing he had was the heat map. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn that heat map off. And then I'm also going to go into the subfilters for the interference, and it's going to show all the different audible access points that the survey collected while I was doing the pre deployment or the site survey. And we do that in the background, even though that's not your primary SSID that you're doing the survey. But we want to be able to capture all of this as you're moving about the facility doing the survey so that we can come back and later analyze it because, as you know, it's important to know the, the different things that are out of your control or out of the facility's control, such as neighboring uh, buildings or businesses that might be bleeding into your particular area that you're doing the survey. So in this case, you see the list, and in some cases it might be very lengthy. All right, and what we do is we recommend you just start working your way through to identify any of these one by one to see exactly where they were in the facility as you were taking it. So we apply, apply again. So as you can see, Linksys was bleeding into this part of the facility that we were doing the survey or our technician was. So we can see that it. If you'll notice how far it was actually coming in into our, the facility uh, and potentially causing you interference as far as either channels or um, you know, signal strength over, overriding certain things. The next thing I want to do is I also want to turn on the heat map to illustrate where the rest of the signals were that we were expecting. And this will allow you to see how the interference overlays that particular point. Next thing you'll want to do is you want to do further investigation. You can either use some of the other tools that we have, such as the channel scan or the Wi-Fi scanner, and walk to the facility. But in our case, our technician took the survey uh, miles away. We will not be able to go back and do an analysis at this particular point. So what we can do is, since we did capture that information, you can tap. You can tap on the survey and see some details about this. So what happens is 
you can see here that the SID is the link SIS. We can see the BSSID of the MAC. We can see the type of security. And we can see the frequency and the channels that everything that this was associated with. So we also know that since this was on channel 6 or frequency 2437, we can then look and see, is that going to cause us interference with access points that we were doing for pre-deployment? So in our pre-deployment strategy then would be to say, if there's nothing I can do about this access point bleeding into my building on this particular channel, then since this is a pre-deployment, then the access point uh, location 6 or this access point location 3, I may have to make adjustments to my channel settings on these access points so that I do not have the interference that I normally uh, would be able to control because of this. The other thing that you can do when doing this type of survey, it would, could also help you to identify any rogues that might be in your facility that maybe uh, uh, an employee or someone had put set up for whatever reason, it also could be causing you interference, and this would help you to identify that as well. Anyway, we hope that uh, this addition, this new filter in either the pre deployment or site survey is beneficial to you, and we'd love to hear from you and your feedback as you work through this particular aspect of the tool. Thanks.